Hey, what's up guys? I am super excited to share with you our new family tradition. We are doing a low country boil. The idea is you make a big delicious pot with whole crab shrimp in the shell so that you have to dig in there and it really makes the food an experience as well as a meal. You add new potatoes, sausage, corn on the cob. You can add shrimp, crab, lobster, crawfish, whatever you like. We love crab and shrimp, so that's what I'm going to be making tonight. Oh, I cannot wait. I got all of our food items from Costco, and I'm so excited to start cooking and dig in and get down. What I love about a low country boil, especially when you have things like whole crab, unpeeled shrimp, so shrimp in the shell, and then you just take this big pot of yumminess and dump it out right on top of the table so everybody can eat off the table, dig in as a family. You can't get more family style than digging around on a table. And I thought the kids would love digging around in the food, sucking the shrimp out of the shells. It's gonna be interesting, probably pretty messy, but that's a little bit of the idea. So I hope you guys like the video and it inspires you to do a 4th of July celebration and low country boil. If you're new, I just wanna say welcome. I'm so glad you're here. And if you're a returning subscriber, I just wanna let you know how much I appreciate you all being part of the Epic Egbert family. I make videos about homemaking and I absolutely love it. I've been into cooking, cleaning, decorating, all things homemaking since I was a little girl. Over the years, I've learned so much and I am grateful for the opportunity to be able to share some of my best tips with you guys. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the red subscribe button and turn on notifications. I put out to help you be the best homemaker. I can't wait anymore. We have to get this food going. Let's start making our low country boil. We are just going to start out by cleaning up the living room and getting everything ready for our party. <laughs> Vacuum a little bit. I am bringing in this folding table so that we have a nice surface to eat off of. I'm going to clean it off and get it ready. I always try to link everything I can in my videos just in case you guys are interested in where I got anything in my description. If there's anything I did not link, just go ahead and comment and I will find a link for you, let you know where I got it, and if I have any money-saving tips or know of any sales, I will of course let you guys know that as well because it does not hurt to save a little bit. Next, I am just going to decorate a little bit. I got pretty much everything for this tablescape from Walmart. I got my paper plates, my Pioneer Woman napkins, and the red and blue clear glittery silverware. America the Beautiful sign. I got that from Hobby Lobby. And this cup that says Stars and Stripes, I got at Fred Meyer for 50% off. <music> I 
I absolutely love these napkins. They are by the Pioneer Woman. She is so funny. I used to read her blog and I love her writing style. I got the girls these purses last year, actually. I got them from Target. They are a red, white, and blue ice cream, so they think they're so fun. Crab shell crackers, picks, and little mini forks for digging all that delicious crab out. Cool! It's awesome for the party. Mommy, Mommy set it up on the date. Mommy's actually rushing the dishes. And Mommy brought me a special thing in my kitchen. See that? It's all shine with scratch. <laughs> yeah. Whenever you get my phone, help when you subscribe for phones. Have and subscribe. <laughs> yeah, yes, you like and subscribe. I did that. that is, did mom tell you too? Like no. it and subscribe. I'm <laughs> <laughs> getting down over there, dude. Are you excited for the party? Yeah, whoa! Look at all this. Look at that. Oh, that looks good. That was super good. I'm gonna get down on that. Whoa. I'm so excited, can you tell? We are just gonna start out with getting all of our water in our pot and we are going to season the beep out of it. This stuff is heaven. I put it on a lot of my cooked veggies, like my broccoli. This is a roasted garlic, better than bouillon paste. It is amazing. Once you try it, it is definitely gonna be a staple in your kitchen. If you guys try this, let me know what you think. I am totally addicted to this stuff. Next, we are going to be adding our Old Bay seasoning. For this big pot, I added eight tablespoons. I got some pink Himalayan salt. I am adding quite a bit of that, and I have some magic poultry seasoning. I'd say I added about six and a half tablespoons. Stir it up, <laughs> stir it up, stir it up. I'm just checking the shrimp and getting ready to devein it, which means clean the poop line out. And as I am checking the shrimp, I am realizing, oh yeah, it's already cleaned. So this Costco shrimp, I don't know if all Costco shrimp is like this, is deveined already. That made this so much easier. No poop. No poop. I got enough of that with the kids and the dogs. I don't need any poop in my shrimp. New potatoes are actually harvested early, so their skin is very thin and tender. You definitely don't need to peel them before cooking, and we're gonna be cooking them in this super flavorful broth, so they're just going to take on so much good flavor. I'm gonna drizzle them with a little bit of lemon when they're done, and bam, they're going to be absolutely amazing. The last, but definitely not least, we have our corn on the cob. Oh my god. We are going to slice up a bunch of lemon wedges. I love a lot of lemon, so we have to make sure we have plenty for everybody to have a lot of lemon. I love the brightness and freshness that lemon brings. It just adds that little punch or kick to your food that just takes it from okay to absolutely delicious. I've got two types of sausage we're gonna put in there. One is a grass-fed Polish sausage that I got at Costco and a Simple Truth 
pork kielbasa sausage. This is my little kid's favorite type of sausage, so we have to have some of that in there too. It is just one of the most delicious and juicy sausages there is. Get a little bit of butter melting here. I'm just going to give the shrimp and the crab a quick rinse before we throw it in our boiling pot. a tip if you're cooking seafood like crab shrimp fish whatever it may be take your garbage out right away so your house stays smelling fresh and clean my kitchen buddy Wallace is just sniffing around seeing if he can find any little snack now that my potatoes have been boiling for a little while I am just going to throw in this sausage and corn The crab had rubber bands that were holding their legs together, so I am just replacing the rubber bands with some cooking twine so that my broth does not take on any kind of weird rubber flavor. The next longest thing to cook is the crab. It's going to take about 10 minutes to boil, so I am getting that in there. It's looking so good. <laughs> Butter's melted, the potatoes are ready. It's time to throw in the shrimp. So next time what I would do, instead of throwing the shrimp in for the last two minutes, I would actually take my pot off the stove and throw the shrimp in at the very end. So it, cause the broth is going to take a while to cool down anyways, I would just kind of let the shrimp sit in there for two minutes. My shrimp weren't overcooked but I like everything as tender as possible. And I think that would be the best way to do that. You know your shrimp are done when they turn pink. I'm getting all this good stuff out of my pot and I am going to reserve some of my broth for other dishes. You wanna get it out of the broth so your food doesn't get overcooked. to move on to cleaning our crab and getting ready for dinner. <laughs> I am going to start by pulling the short abdomen, which is folded forward under the body off. Since the crab was really hot, I have my dish washing gloves on, gently pull the shell off, and then I'm going to clean out the guts like the gonad, digestive gland, and gills and all the other stuff I personally prefer not to have in there. I know some people really love what they call the crab butter. Something about the texture of that, I just can't get over, so I prefer to rinse it out, but I would just clean out the crab in whatever way your family likes your crab. If you like the crab butter, leave it in there. If you don't, go ahead and rinse it out.
after it's all rinsed out, I just take my cutting board and run my knife right through the middle of it and divide it into two pieces. Now that all our food is ready to go, I'm going to take it to the table and start setting up. This is the fun part of the Low Country Boil. You just throw your food right on the table. You can use newspaper, butcher paper, a paper or plastic tablecloth, whatever you have on hand. Throw it all right down on the table. I did all the hot stuff first and then topped it off with lemon wedges. On the side, I have melted butter, some of my broth, some salt, Old Bay seasoning, and some cocktail sauce. You know that I'm a keep it cool. With you, I feel a breaking rules. On the edge, looking out with no parachute. You know I'm dreaming about us too. Playing around without a clue. On the edge, screening out. With us, it's all or nothing. As I was getting the party ready, everybody else was having some fun outside, so this is what they were doing. Yay, Are so you guys ready for dinner? Yeah! A boil! Look at that! Ooh. Woo! Are you guys ready to dig in? Oh my god, it was actually really easy and it's going to be so delicious. I can't wait to taste the crap. Dig in, everybody!
It says about the experience. You want some water? Sure. Okay. Wow, you cut it yourself? Yeah. I want Cheers. Mmm. 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 Mm. That's a big meaty bite. I love it. Oh, you have that. Quit looking at me. You're distracting me. I'm just looking. Ooh, I got two of the legs. I'm taking the shell off. Mm. Oh, and you can't even hardly You love it? Yes. What kind of food are you eating? Or because it's too freaking hot. Like these have sausage? Uh, I love sausage too. Building. It's really yummy. Yeah. Lemon too. Wow. There we go. Here you go, Ashlyn. Okay. Ooh, she does. <laughs> I'm sure there's not gonna be enough napkins. You got. We gotta show you how to eat this, huh? Here, Dad. Watch, Ashlyn. Wow, good job. Wow. Very nice. Wow. Good job. It's either got good flavor or I, I like butter. Like <laughs> I didn't know you like crab, boy. I like that Cameron is expressing himself. <laughs> going to clean all this mess up now. So this is what the table looked like after we were all done with dinner. I am putting any leftovers in a bowl so we can eat it over the next couple of days. This tablecloth was actually a paper tablecloth, so I just balled everything up in it and put it in the garbage.
got that feeling. Just gonna run over the floor one more time with the vacuum super quick. Life will take care of the rest. Biking alone in the sunset. Through the canals or the mindset. Do a couple of these dishes to keep things under control. Leftovers in the fridge. The sun on your skin, as great as breathing, filling the spaces within. Running around, are we there yet? Music is not where we are. the counters and I I'm gonna make sure I got my garbages out so none of the seafood is in the house making it smell funky if you like the video, leave me a big thumbs up. It helps my channel out and lets me know what kind of videos you guys are interested in seeing. Seasonal recipes, holiday recipes, and homemaking. If that's something you're into, definitely hit the subscribe button. I will be putting out a lot more content like this. We love making special days special. It's super important to me to get my family to connect and make memories so my kids grow up with a strong sense of family and feeling loved and united. I hope this video was inspiring and motivating for you and I hope that you get the opportunity to do a low country boil of your own. I also decorated for 4th of July and made a tiered tray snack station. I'll link those videos below for you guys as well so you can check that out. I hope your week is filled with peace, love, and fun. Thanks for watching.